boot stirring turnout. I see lots of people turning horses out with brush boots mm -hmm. and splint boots. Does this help or hurt the horse in any way? I've heard some people say it will make the horse's legs weaker because they rely on the boots for support. Is there any truth to this? Is there any circumstance where boots would be beneficial during turnout? Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh she's not. She's not no, done yet. No, she's done. She's oh. that's it. So oh, we God. had some feedback from the YouTube community uh, comments. So Neam Harity, and if I butcher your name, I'm very sorry. Uh, she also put. She said, "Are boots beneficial for horses to wear during turnout? Because I really want a horse of my own, so I'm learning everything I can." So she's doing her Good research ahead of time. Yeah. That's that's the best it. Way. That's it. Now, now it's turn. Okay. <laughs> what I was going to say was, I've noticed a trend that these questions. It, one question on a topic has like three, four, five questions, and I can't remember them all. So you. She wanted to make sure she's going to submit her question. She was going to get all the points. My covered. goodness. Okay, um, and, and she said brush boots or splint boots. I think correct. Brush, brush or splint boots. Like the same. That name can be applied to the same kind of boot. We correct. have an example. Like these would be brush or splint boots. Um, they're pretty simple. They have a. A strike guard on the inside, and the point of these is that it's to to protect against impact injury. So horses that might be knocking one leg against the mm -hmm. other, um, you, you want to protect the um, the cannon bone, the splint bone, the the soft tissues, the tendons and ligaments that run down the back of the leg, the the ankles, that that tissue from like the knee to the ankle. Yes, because that's where some horses interfere. Um, bell boots would be if horses like overreach so their hind foot comes up and and uh, hits the heel of the front foot so you want to prevent those i know a lot of horses they wear those like all the time yeah and then um the final would be overuse uh, injuries and that and i'm going to give this to you because it's velcro and my hair and velcro don't really mix but this has a sling on the bottom so it's not just like the brush boot with the three straps up here it's got this additional additional part and that goes underneath the ankle and protects against overuse the uh, tendons and ligaments on the back of the leg from sinking down too far and from the ankle from hyper um, extending so um, a little bit different use there and you so you have to know why you're putting boots on your horse you don't just put them on because everybody else at your barn is doing it or it's tradition or something you you need to know why you're doing it so if you have a horse who maybe has had some tendon or ligament issues prior it might be a good idea if yeah you, if or you, if your horse interferes like yeah. i have a horse who's so um shall we say wide <laughs> that he doesn't interfere so i've never put boots on him but now i have a young horse who is as he grows he's narrow he hasn't developed any musculature mm -hmm. yet and so he interferes and overreaches both so he's a, a brush boot and a bell boot guy. I'm big guy. into bell boots because a lot of horses, I ride stock horses and egg bars with naviculars. Oh yeah, and you yes. don't want to be It's very easy off. for them to yeah. throw their shoes and turn out. So I'm yeah. big into the bell boots for um, sure. So the things I wanted to say were, it's important that they, they fit well and stay on, that you apply them correctly because boots can do harm if they're not applied correctly if they're left on too long, if they're dirty, mm -hmm. you know, bell boots that just get left on in turnout, especially where it's sandy or dusty or whatever, can cause can cause sores. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful there. Um, on, along the, those lines, your boots need to be easy to clean. These are super easy to clean. I mean, you just you just hose them off. Um, they need to be durable. So all these Velcro pieces that we've been showing you, they need to hold up for use, daily use, again, and again, and again. Um, they need to not hold water, and here's an important thing, not trap heat. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like um, these uh, Professional Choices new splint or brush boots. They're made of a, a new kind of fabric that it, it is uh, good airflow and doesn't hold the heat in like our old-fashioned neoprene did, because there's been some research that says- your Velcro for you. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. I'm not touching that. They, they, there's some evidence that says, uh, if you put a boot on a horse and it's this neoprene that traps or holds the heat in, once they start working, the the soft tissue can get overheated and that's damaging to cells. Mm. So you want a good um, breathable, good airflow boot, if you, especially if you're going to leave it on for a long time. Because this is lightweight and it's also like it's very lightweight, on the inside. but like the it's got a good strike guard. I mean, I can feel there's good protection mm -hmm. here on the inside. So. Um, and, and then the other thing I was going to say is uh, read reviews when you go online because you know, we've all, all got different sized horses and long legs and short legs and fat legs and skinny legs and 
If you read the reviews, it'll tell you about the sizing, like is it true to size, mm -hmm. or should you order a size larger or smaller than you normally would. It'll tell you about is it hard to clean, easy to clean, maybe some cleaning tips. But um, I, I, I find the reviews that people write about products to be very, very helpful when I select. And to your point about like the sizing, because you know if they're too loose, you can get dirt in the inside they of them. They can slip and down, slip down and scare horses. Exactly. So luckily, we do have at SmartPack free return shipping on sized items. So sometimes that is right. <laughs> So sometimes what I recommend <laughs> is order both sizes, see which That's one fits best, and then just send the other idea. one back to us, and that way you don't yeah. have to wait about all this exchanging back yeah. and forth. Thank you. That's good. You're welcome. My contribution to this one episode. <laughs>